One of the emerging trends with e-commerce is that the products are getting closer and closer to the end user. So if you think about four or five years ago, the consumer wasn't really part of the equation. Most of our volume was going from a manufacturer to a retail store or to a warehouse. Today, about 45% of our volume goes to the end user with more people buying online and we're delivering more to the homes. All of this progression means we're managing a tremendous amount of data. That data is really almost 20 petabytes. And when you think of what a petabyte is, take the human DNA for the entire US population, multiply it times three. That fits in one petabyte. We're managing 20 petabytes of data right now. So that's why we continue to invest about a billion dollars in technology every year. So when you think about technology and you think about, well, how much can be fully automated or fully autonomous, we've been talking about something called Orion. It's a mapping software on steroids. It allows us to reduce the miles because it's determining the optimized route for every driver. When we're done later this year, we'll save six to eight miles per driver, saving about 100,000 metric tons of CO2. Each piece of technology is, is just another building block to the foundation of making an efficient operation. Things like uh, automation, robotics, and drones, it's just this natural progression. We're now moving into what we call the hub automation, which is using automation to sort packages so they, they don't have to be touched once they come inside of one of our buildings. Do I think there's gonna be a highway of drones in every major city? I just don't think that's the application that's gonna work. We're still a human business delivering packages to each other. Our customers still expect the UPS driver to knock on their door and the experience they have with interacting with the driver when he's delivering is not something that's just gonna go away.